Hi, my name is Joy Cole, and today I'll be walking you through the Childhood Food Allergy Lib Guide. So let's begin. The site is filled with helpful resources for parents of a child with food allergies or for any adult that has a child with food allergies in their life. When you open the website, you'll be brought to the home page where you'll see a picture of the librarian and a welcome message. If you scroll down on your left, you'll see a box with information about the librarian who created this LibGuide. Under the welcome message, there's information about what a food allergy is for those that are unfamiliar with the term. There are several links that will take you to other websites where you can learn more information, like the website for food allergy research and education, often referred to as FAIR. Below that is a two and a half minute video that helps to further explain what a food allergy is. Over to the left is a picture of the Food Allergy Awareness Ribbon. Much like other awareness ribbons, it is meant to signify to others that you or someone you care about suffers from food allergies. There is a Food Allergy Awareness Week, which we will learn more about later on. Next we go to the Websites tab. On this page there are links to useful websites that you can visit to get more information on food allergies. Further down are websites where you can find recipes for cooking allergy-friendly meals. On the left side are two food allergy initiatives that FAIR has created to help spread awareness about food allergies. The first one is the Teal Pumpkin Project, which you can learn more about by clicking on the link. The second initiative is Food Allergy Awareness Week. More information can be found on FAIR's website by clicking the link here. Next, we move on to books and encyclopedias. This section of the LibGuide is helpful for finding print and online materials about food allergies. The librarian lists books here in the center. If you click on a book, it takes you to another page where you can see if the book is available either at a local library or on Google Books. And speaking of Google Books, there is a box all the way to the bottom left of the page where you can search Google Books for more information on food allergies or associated topics. On the right side of this page, there is a list of encyclopedias. Just like the books, if you click on the encyclopedia, it will take you to another page where you can see if that encyclopedia is available at a local library and place it on hold. The last box on the bottom right contains links to two online encyclopedias. You can click the links and search these sites for more information. Next, we move on to the Helpful Research Tools tab. This page of the LibGuide contains links to several external databases where you can search for additional information on food allergies. In these databases, you will find more books, journal articles, and even videos about childhood food allergies. To the left are some searching tips to keep in mind when searching for materials in these databases. In the box below, you can search Google Scholar for further scholarly information on food allergies. The tab labeled Symptoms and Treatments brings us to a page that links to informative websites about the symptoms that your child might experience when they come into contact with an allergen. There is also a link to a website about the most common treatment for food allergy symptoms, an EpiPen. And next we move on to the Videos tab. This section of the LibGuide contains several videos that you can watch to gain more knowledge and a better understanding about childhood food allergies. There's also a video to further explain the Teal Pumpkin Project which is an initiative created by FAIR that I mentioned earlier. Back on the home page, you can click the email button under the librarian's picture to send an email to the librarian. This concludes the walkthrough of the Childhood Food Allergy LibGuide. Thank you for taking the time to view this. I hope you found it helpful.